just want to give you a quick view at our Dodge Ram ProMaster option. This is a new option. We don't typically sell these used. It's the largest vehicle that we offer. It's really popular with skilled nursing facilities and assisted livings, hospitals. Um, it gives you the most bang for your buck in terms of how many people you can fit inside the vehicle between a combination of passenger seats, wheelchairs, and even stretcher. So this particular van is set up to accommodate two to three wheelchairs at one time, does have a stretcher option, and it has five passenger seats, two of which are quick release seats, which you can easily move around without tools. So this is what the vehicle looks like from the outside. It's less than 10 feet tall, so you can accommodate most um, self-service car washes. So you've seen the outside of the vehicle, now I'll take you in. So to engage the wheelchair ramp, you just come to the back of the vehicle, open the right door, there's a little handle right here, you can open the left door. You open these doors all the way up, that activates the hydraulic pump. You can see here, this is a manual wheelchair ramp. We only do manual ramps, we try to stay away from the electronic ones since they fail. Uh, this is the hydraulic lowering system. Push this button, you're going to see the van will lower. You can hear that. Once you hear it stop, take your finger off of it. You got these buckles down here. You're going to push them. Got to push them with a little bit of force to release that ramp. Then you can grab any one of these handles. You pull towards yourself. And I'm doing this with one hand as I film this so you can tell it's quite easy. Lay that ramp flat, back up so you can see it. And with that hydraulic pump pulling down the back of that van, you have a nice ADA compliant wheelchair angle. So let's go up in the vehicle and see what we see. All right, so as you enter the vehicle, just walk right up this ramp. Immediately you can see this uh, unique flooring setup. This is what we call smart floor technology. So these rails run the length of the van and it allows you to maneuver these seats and position them pretty much wherever you would like. You can see this particular van. These seats are stationary. They're in one spot. And even though they're stationary, they can be simply removed with just a couple of tools and a little bit of time. Wouldn't take much time at all. Um, you have these seats, which we classify as quick release seats. You can see that system goes right down into that smart floor. And this van has three of those seats. Also over here, you see there is a stretcher option. Those antlers is where the stretcher is received. This is the Ferno system that would secure the stretcher. You push that open, push the stretcher pin right into this and push that button down and it'll come down on it and secure it in place. So I'm six foot two and I'm standing completely upright right now in the van. So you can tell with this high roof, your driver or your transporter should have no difficulty in terms of their comfort level having to be hunched over all day. Up here, you can see we have an air vent system. It does air conditioning as well as heat. Uh, there's an option up in the front, right to the left of the steering wheel where you can activate that aftermarket air conditioning system. We've also added these LED lights. So in the evenings and nights or early mornings, your driver will have plenty of light to ensure that he's keeping your patients safe. All right, we'll take a closer look at these passenger seats. As you can see in the video, obviously they look quite comfortable and they are exactly that. They're very comfortable. Um, here's an example of what of our, one of our stationary seats looks like. You see it locked in there. And then this is actually one of our quick release seats. Same material. Um, if somebody spills on this or if there's any other fluids that may be on this, uh, easy to clean, easy to wipe off, and sanitize. Your van will come equipped with Q-Strengths. Uh, they're the leading manufacturer in terms of quality uh, for wheelchair van restraints. So these connect into the smart floor technology and then they connect to your wheelchair. Uh, you also have your waistband for your seatbelt in this box. And then most of our vehicles will come equipped with the uh, shoulder strap on the wall. You can see that one there. And there's another one there in the rear of the vehicle.
quickly show you how these Q-strains work. Uh, you're going to want to put the front end of the Q-strain into the Smart Track technology. Simply push it forward. You can see it's secured. It's not going anywhere. You push down this red tab to extend out the Q-strain. To release the Q-strain, you pull this directly up on both sides. So we pull it up, slides right up. So you want these Q-strains, you want to have four per wheelchair and you want to space them out two in the front and two behind the wheelchair. Tighten them down tightly to ensure it's secure. So once you've secured your Q strength to the wheelchair, you'll notice how this has some slack in it. You don't want slack. It's not safe for transportation. As soon as you attach it to the wheelchair, push this same red tab. It'll tighten that. And then to further tighten, you simply twist this clockwise until it's tight enough that you can't tighten it anymore. Uh, once you're done using the vehicle and you're ready to unload the passenger, simply push on the red tab. That'll put the slack back into the Q-strain and then you can remove the harness. This is the front passenger door, the setup of the van, so you can get a general idea of some of the options you'll have. Got some cup holders down there. So we turn to the back. You see there's a slight drop off right there. Driver's seat, 